She looks so strong. She has like thunder thighs. That's great. I love that. <laughs> Hi, I'm Robin. Watch Marvel make me a hero. I'm the health coach and educator behind the geeky wellness community, Geek Girl Strong. I started seeing that there were more people like me who were super geeky and didn't feel like they fit anywhere in health and fitness who could use someone to kind of bring them along and make them feel better in their bodies. In my time as a public school teacher, I was speaking with a lot of my students and realized that they were fascinated with the fact that I went to comic book conventions and then would also come in and talk about how heavy my deadlift was and started getting them more invested in PE through asking them what anime I should watch or bringing back free comic books. I started going to a meetup group called Geek Girl Brunch. The women there gave me the highest compliment, which was if you were my PE teacher, I might not have hated it so much. And then they would ask, but do you train adults? And so I said, well, I do now. <laughs> I started Geek Girl Strong through their interest. I've been reading comic books on and off since I was really little. I started reading The Defenders and reading Misty Knight and then coming back to X-Men and the character Storm and realizing she was also from New York that she, like me, had experienced trauma as a child, that they addressed her mental health in ways I didn't notice when I was a kid. Fighting for the leadership of the X-Men to see that, and of course to see a black woman in that position in comic books was really, really huge. I really wanted my hero to look like me, someone who looked feminine but was also really strong having a hero that has natural hair, but I don't think I would be out there trying to fight people with a big afro out because it's easy for them to grab. I would want something that's sort of put away and easy to take care of. I've spent too long being bullied as a middle schooler to not make a superhero that I'm like, wow, she looks great. I have this image in my head of this bodysuit that is shorts covered in armor so that she's protected. The word I'm always thinking of is practical. Hot, but practical. Maybe that's my brand from now on. Hot and practical. Biker leather fingerless gloves just look really cool. Also having the fingerless gloves allows for her to hopefully get a better grip on some throwing knives so that she doesn't have to be up close and personal all the time. I am very much a New Yorker in that I mostly just wear dark colors, but I wear a lot of gold jewelry, and the one color I do like a lot is red because it's associated with being very powerful and fiery. Anytime someone asks, what would your superpower be? It would absolutely be teleportation. I would definitely want to be a hero that's super strong. I would imagine that my hero has the same job that I do. Sometimes she's in the middle of teaching a group of people about sugar and soda and then is able to teleport wherever she needs to go. The idea of being able to, without a mask, help your community, and then with a mask, help the world, and do it in a cool, hot, and practical way <laughs> would be really cool. Oh man, this is so cool. Her throwing knives are right up my alley. It's sort of close to like an anime style. They're easy to, reach and then they have the little loop on the end which I imagine would make for some super cool like spinning around the finger and throwing action. Seeing Storm and Misty Knight on a page, it was really big for me. I think Kid Robin would have absolutely loved this character. She's a visual representation of what's possible. She's traveling around, teleporting, fighting lots of baddies, but she also looks bad. Like bad as in good. <laughs> Thanks, Marvel, for making me a hero.